Hello folks, how's it going? Um, I've just done a little video in Gaelic about this book, uh, what I believe is probably the best uh, book available for learning Gaelic. It's based on a living Gaelic dialect, if you'd even call it a dialect, kind of an accent with a few um, variations from the standard version, um, which wouldn't really cause any problems with adapting to the standard version before or after learning this variety. But this variety is great because it's, it's, a, it's a dialect that exists in the real life of many people living in an area just to the west of Galway City, around the Furbo, from Furbo all the way along to Spiddle, which is a, a town in that area, all the way along to probably Russaville where they speak a type of uh, Gaelic with its own, of course, its own characteristics and its own funny little ways. Um, as many of you know, I am from Mayo and uh, I speak, um, I normally speak Mayo Gaelic, but I can make a fair attempt at imitating this one when I'm working with students who choose to use this, this uh, book. Because as I say, it's all based on South Connemara dialect. Um, if only there were one of these books available in all the dialects. I've actually got in contact with the, the author, Michael Shields, and asked him if he would be willing to do one on the Mayo dialect, but not. he's too busy with his poetry, unfortunately. Um, but anyway, it's great that we have this one at all. It's got all sorts of great things in it. Um, lots and lots of, um, for example, loads of vocabulary with the phonetic spelling as well as the the standardised and the dialectized spelling, if you could say that. So it's all very well um, written. There's lots of examples, lots of grammar, but uh, with explanations, and also lots of uh, comprehensible input, uh, as in texts and little stories, and um, great audio with it. The audio comes with um, native speakers of this dialect <coughs> in the South Connemara area. It's the, it's the Gaelic-speaking area, let's say, with probably most speakers uh, in in one in a fairly concentrated way, I would imagine. I'm not 100 percent sure of that, but it's certainly the the most convenient uh, Gaelic dialect as regards um, going there to practice it because it's only a few miles west of Galway City, <coughs> so you can get there in a few minutes in a car or a bus, uh, you can also easily cycle there, or even walk there, it's not so far, I guess it's, uh, I guess the dialect, the area where the dialect is spoken naturally would start, I, I'm not 100% sure, but I guess about this is six or seven miles from Galway, I suppose the Barna area, um, so I highly recommend, uh, if you're not going to learn proper Mayo Gaelic, which I believe it's, is a nicer, prettier, more classical, more standard, uh, more uh, central variety of Gaelic, of course, because someone who speaks and understands Mayo Gaelic also kind of understands the other dialects, whereas this dialect is kind of an outlier because they've got a, few, a lot of exceptions in pronunciation and even in, 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 in vocab uh, to other dialects. It's, it's quite a little bit different from other varieties. But as I say, it's got it's got safety in numbers. A bunch of people speak it, so you can easily practice it. Whereas with Mayo Gaelic, very few people speak it nowadays, unfortunately. Um, so, in the Gaelic video I've just done, I've read out a little piece um, to give a feeling of how it sounds. So, why not do that here as well? Anybody learning Gaelic or who speaks it or who wants to hear a bit of it, I'll read out one of the... One of the little texts, because at the end of every lesson, there are nearly all the lessons, there's a lesson, there's a, a text or two or three, uh, giving examples of quite natural local speech. So on page 42, there's a little text there, the second one, called Narigya, which means the sea. It's a little, tiny little piece about someone, a Konamara person, talking about a day at the seaside. <coughs> So I'll read that out for you now, in my best uh, South Connemara accent. Anarigia, fi na gasu jalyog e gwaar ganye, fi naam shirka hawen, 
fi en arga gadas agus fi an tishke tegelor. Fi en tra resunta ke gara gelor gasur elan. Fi boke dagas spadzen i bjaga egne gasur. Fi en tra glan agus fi en gana gadas. Fi sports geloran. Fi kolo hona sasta le shala. Fi skolanum rist de majag agus fi breakfast e gitram elog ko mager maden. Ma fi na nam shukuma. Bedo gama la das ele egne gasur and tachtan chahogai. So there you get a feel for it. Uh, quite a bit different pronunciation from Mayo Gaelic or every other Gaelic that's not Connemara. Of course, other types of Connemara Gaelic are quite close to this, even though they do have, they still do have their differences. Um, uh, I could go into this, especially with the pronunciation of kind of the H sound in between in the middle of words and at the end of the words and even at the beginning of words which is very very strong in Mayo and here it's practically non-existent so that's a big a difference in um, in pronunciation over just a few miles you know of where the, the two varieties are spoken um, for example I gave the example in the Gaelic one I did the Gaelic Mayo Gaelic word for a page is Yahanoch and the South Connemara close to Galway version, let's say the Spiddle version for that word is Llanach. It's much shorter without the H sounds in it. And there's a bunch of words uh, like that, where there's plenty of H in the Mayo variety and none at all in the in the Spiddle variety, let's call it, or in the Furb in the Furbo variety. Um, and that's all for now. Anybody um, wanting to? Uh, to learn or study Gaelic with me, I would recommend Mayo Gaelic, of course, because that's my favourite one, the one I speak, and um, also because of this book, South Connemara Gaelic, and I can adjust and adapt to either one um, as we go along. So um, that's all for now. I hope you'll all try to pick up a copy of this book. It comes with excellent audio, as I say as well, and this book is around, it's been in many editions, and um, it's been around since the 19, early 1980s, if not late 70s. And it's the best Gaelic learning book there is, in my humble opinion. Okay, folks, I'll say goodbye in Gaelic in a way that's very, very common in Connemara. Gomuidzi Rib. Gomuidzi Rib.